Something almost everyone watching this story did today. Take for granted their ability to read and write. According to the National Center for Educational Statistics, 21% of adults in the United States, about 43 million, fall into the illiterate, functionally illiterate category. And in national rankings, New Mexico is 49th. It's horrible. I mean, there's nothing you can say about it. I mean, the statistics are overwhelming. That in Bertolillo County, more than half of the adults need our services. Margaret Barker is the founder and president of Ethos Literacy in Albuquerque. She started the program in 2007. I learned that adult literacy is a major problem in our community and that there wasn't much for people. Ethos Literacy has since helped more than 1,400 New Mexicans in one-on-one -on -one and small group tutoring sessions in reading, writing, and speaking English. Barker has tutored people from 16 to 84 years old. 64-year-old man who didn't finish grade school. And within five months, he read a book for the first time in his life, but he read his own mail. But getting people to reach out for help can be the biggest challenge. And when adults are struggling. It trickles down in all kinds of areas. Uh, but we do know that if adults have strong reading skills, their children will have strong reading skills. Data released by the New Mexico Public Education Department shows students at risk. Just 33 percent of first graders met the benchmark for reading and just 38.7% of third graders met that benchmark. There's still this problem of people get out of high school and they can't read. And the challenges for our state's kids continue to grow after a year of most New Mexico students learning in a virtual setting. Stanford University released a study showing the classroom lockdown in New Mexico is adding up to some startling numbers. In reading, kids losing an average of close to 100 days, almost a full school year. In some school districts, it's closer to 161 days lost. And with so many New Mexico kids facing an often silent additional challenge, parents who can't read, the future is more complicated. The most important factor in a child's literacy development mm -hmm. is the mother's literacy development. Encouraging and fostering a lifetime love of reading for our kids starts with the adults. And for those who face their own literacy challenges, that may be one of our state's most crucial assignments. The message to those battling literacy roadblocks? They're not alone. That's the first thing. I think a lot of people who have poor literacy skills think they're the only ones with poor literacy skills, and that is not the truth. During the lockdown, Ethos has been offering tutoring sessions online, something they say will continue for some students once the pandemic is over, as the need keeps growing to find adult literacy tutors. And throughout the year, KOAT, the Albuquerque Journal, and KKOB Radio will be bringing you a wide range of stories about literacy and the help that's out there. We have one in the works right now. We're really excited to share with you soon.